Now we're going to grade wheat using hand pans. First thing we want to do is to get our original sample weight. And I have 1,010 grams. I want to use a 1264 embedded over a 564 round hole sieve to remove the dockage. I want to do about half the sample. This is relatively clean wheat, so I want to do about half the sample at a time. If it had more dockage, I would probably do a third of the sample at a time. Hold the top pan up so that that wheat can clear and fill in that bottom pan. I just shake it till everything clears the top. And so you got your clean wheat and your dockage. So I'm going to weigh out the dockage, and I've got 5.2 grams, or right at 2% dockage. Now I can take my dockage-free wheat and calculate the test weight. Three zigzag motions, striker straight up and down. Pounds per bushel. And I have 59.4 pound test weight wheat. We now need to weigh out about 250 grams to calculate the shrunken and broken by screening it through a 064 by 3 8 slotted sieve. I have 251 grams. I'm going to set the memory so it will calculate the percentage for me. I want to keep the slots parallel with my body and I want to do 28 revolutions. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Got my shrunken and broken. I have 1.6 grams or 0.6% shrunken and broken. Now I want to take that clean sample of wheat and weigh out a 15 gram portion to pick damage and a 30 gram portion to pick foreign material. Fourteen, well, 15 grams even. That's, so that's for damage. 30 gram sample for foreign material. Twenty-eight point one grams for foreign material. Now with hand pans, if you have a trashy or high dockage sample of wheat, you'll want a twelve sixty-fourths round hole sieve embedded over the O sixty-fourths by three eight sieve.
and you've got 11 grams of dockage. Now you're ready to do the test weight, and then after you do the test weight, you uh, do your shrunken and broken, and then you get a 30-gram sample for foreign material and a 15-gram sample for damage. 